Konnichiwa YouTube. Gomesu desu. How are you today? O genki desu ka? I'm doing good. I've been gone for a while. I want to apologize to you guys. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people um, leaving comments and subscribing to me even though I haven't posted a video in a while. So I wanted to make a video today. Yes. So anyway, up first we got butter cookies. Actually, this says uh, bata kokonatsu. So it's like butter coconut. I guess they're like a biscuit or a crispy type of cookie. Um, and we're going to check it out. See what that tastes like. And it looks delicious. It looks like a little biscuit or cracker. Mmm. The texture is very similar to graham crackers, except it doesn't have as much flavor. The butter and uh, the sweet coconut type flavor is very, very subtle. So, I don't know, it doesn't have a lot of flavor, but it's good because it's, it's light. It doesn't, it's not too heavy. Um, like I've talked about before, the Japanese, um, they don't like really strong f flavors like, like we do here in America and they tend to l use a lot less sugar uh, in most products uh, when you compare them to American products. So actually it's pretty good even though it's, it's, it's subtle and it's not too sweet. It's crunchy and delicious. And these costed me, they were like two bucks, two dollars. Um, which is not bad. They're, they're good. Um, up next, we got high lemon. High lemon. Uh, I guess they're lemon flavored candies. So let's go ahead and check that out. And what you got in there is this, which is uh, kind of weird. It reminds me of a uh, pills you know people people get pills in foil like this so it's kind of strange to see candies uh, like this just just from the looks of it they look like sweet tarts and you can see there's a little happy face uh, on the on the little drop itself you can see a little happy face and it has um, like a powdery substance or it's made of powder maybe it's compressed powder Mmm. Mmm. Has a very interesting texture. This is what I would picture putting chalk in your mouth. You know, the chalk that you write on a chalkboard with? This is what I would picture the texture as. But, it's actually really good. It's kind of chewy too when you, when you bite down on it. And it tastes like lemon. Uh, kind of like a lemon head, the American candy, you know, the little yellow balls. Kind of tastes like that, except it's not that sweet, it's less sour, and it's kind of powdery, you know, so it's completely different. It's really good. That box costed me $1. $1 for a box of high lemon drops, or, or lemon candies, I don't know. I don't know why I call them drops. Up next. We got these, um, matcha ame. So I, I guess it's tea flavored candy drops or something. Let's check it out. These were $2.19 for the bag, and the bag is pretty heavy, so there's a lot of candy in there. Let's check it out. It's a little green drop, like a hard candy, and doesn't have any smell to it or anything. Mm. Well, if you're expecting like a sweet candy like a Jolly Rancher or any kind of hard candy in America, yeah, there's, there's no way. If this tastes like you're biting um, a tea leaf. It's very 
not very, but it's bitter. It tastes like tea that's been boiled in water and you don't add honey or sugar or anything to it. That's what it tastes like. I guess if you like tea, it can be something that you like, but you know, I would rather drink tea, even even if it tastes like this, I would rather drink it than suck on it like a candy. It's kind of funky, kind of weird. A candy like this would never make it in the United States because America wants sweet. That's 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 how we think. Um, but it tastes like tea, green tea. Yeah, crazy. I'm not gonna finish that. And that bag, I'm not sure what's gonna happen to it because I probably won't use it. And up next, we got Ebi Med Medin. Medin. Medi. Uh, I guess it's some sort of a shrimp cracker or shrimp uh, kind of pastry or whatever you want to call it, cracker. So let's go ahead and taste that. It's interesting too because on the back of it, it shows um, different ways of eating it, I guess. You know, with beer, with maybe coffee or tea, and or with a drink. And it actually shows takoyaki balls on here. Well, it looks like takoyaki balls. So, yeah, I guess you can eat this in different ways. So let's just go ahead and try that. It's already kind of cracked inside there because I crushed it a little bit earlier. So we'll pull it out. And I'm very sure that I'm going to like this. So it's a giant cracker. You can hear that, huh? Kind of sounds like cardboard. And it kind of feels like cardboard. It, it really does. And uh, it smells like cardboard. Shrimp flavored cardboard. Mmm. That's delicious. You can see in the texture of this flake or cracker, there's, uh, I guess, little bits of seaweed inside of there. And of course, it's kind of pink colored because that's probably the shrimp. Tastes like shrimp with a little bit of that oshiness from the seaweed. It's good. Reminds me of uh, shrimp crackers or like shrimp chips. It's delicious. I recommend this. This one. I don't know what I paid for it, but I probably paid around three dollars for this one. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six big wafers like this. And it tastes like shrimp. It's good. Well, I hope you enjoyed the new video. Um, I'm sorry that I've been gone for so long. It's just when you're a photographer and a husband and you're a father you got kids you know sometimes you get busy um, but there's some of you who have voiced their interest in maybe receiving free items if you are interested the first two people who sends me their shipping information uh, via a message on my youtube channel after you subscribe um, I will ship you a free Japanese goodie or snack uh, I don't know, something. And you will enjoy it. It'll be safe, it will be unopened, and it will be shipped to you. So, yeah, if you want free stuff, now's the time to do it. Alright, YouTube, thank you so much. Sayonara. Janna.